What's up guys, Casey with Maxima, and today we are trying out Mont Blanc Legend. We have it right here with the full box and packaging. As you can see, been looking to try this fragrance out. We actually had this in our under $50 fragrance gift guides in the top five for men section. Definitely go and check that gift guide out if you're looking to buy any kind of gift. This is not coming out. It's definitely, definitely brand new packaging, guys. As you can see, the um, slide off is of this gentleman. This is the, uh, I think, original advertising for this fragrance when it first released in April of 2011, I believe. Now we're gonna be opening up the wrapping. This is the 3.3 um, fluid ounce, 100 ml EDT. And don't forget guys, today is only a first impressions, meaning we'll just spray it on, see how it smells according to what the notes, the original notes are meant to be, whatever, whether it's uh, on their website, online, anywhere. And we're gonna be giving our opinion on it. And then we'll be trying it out for a 48 hour period and reviewing the results on Thursday. We're just tearing this apart as quick as possible. Here we have it here, guys. It's quite classy. The um, signature Mont Blanc logo right here. I love the box and packaging. Very classy. Definitely let's have a try at it now. I'm quite excited to be trying this out. Hmm? I think the cap fell. I, I dropped it before. Don't tell that to anyone. All right, we just dropped that there. And here we have it, guys, Mont Blanc Legend. It is a very um, black, you can't even see through it, um, glass with a nice silver trim. Now we're gonna take the cap off. Definitely doesn't smell anything. Now we'll be trying this out. Nice sprayer actually on this cap over here. The intro definitely has a nice uh, citrus opening with fresh spicy. It's bergamot in the top note. Let it, you know, sit a little, settle down. Many have said this fragrance is a, is a pretty conservative fragrance in terms of you're not gonna get too overwhelming of a performance, but you're not gonna be getting a, a weak performance as well. In terms of the usage, I've seen uh, people mentioning that it's a year-round fragrance. I even mentioned that in the gift guide as well in the previous videos that we did for the uh, top five men under 50 gift guide. And so if it's a year-round, if after I test it out and I see it's a year-round, I would honestly be uh, inclined to purchase, purchase this fragrance because the opening scent has such a nice uh, masculine yet, yet conservative smell. I definitely like the appeal it has. It has a mix of pineapple and lavender as well in there. I can definitely smell. The fresh spicy is not too heavy, but not too light. I really like fresh spicy notes. Usually definitely exciting, mostly in Texas weather. So it definitely may differ for you in terms of your taste and uh, the environment that you have. But this fragrance is definitely, it also reminds me kind of of Abercrombie uh, and Fitch Fierce. If you guys tried this out, it's definitely gonna have some sort of resemblance to that fragrance as well. In terms of the notes, the, the complete development in the body of their fragrance. Yeah, in terms of power, it's not very strong. I definitely see it being a more um, neutral fragrance in terms of uh, performance and silage. Many have mentioned that the silage on this fragrance or projection, pardon, is um, not as good as they expected it for the fragrance itself from what they've expected from Mont Blanc in, um, in terms of lineup and whatnot, in terms of product line. 
Now, this is probably gonna be lasting me somewhere about five to six hours from my guess. Well, I'll definitely be assessing that in the next 48 hours, trying the fragrance out and um, giving my full breakdown of the fragrance's scent, longevity, projection, and definitely the recommended use in terms of both seasonal and environment to where you can use this fragrance. Definitely more versatile fragrance, so I can definitely see it used in a casual but also, you know, classy environment. Definitely possible to be mixing these for, um, environments with this fragrance. That's all that we have for first impressions of Mont Blanc Legend. Just a few, you know, quick things on how this fragrance is, how it, the smell is. Definitely has a nice citrus, um, aromatic, fresh, spicy um, body to this fragrance. Definitely don't expect too much performance or uh, projection, but we'll get on back to that as we try the fragrance out for another 48 hour test, as per mentioned multiple times, and we're gonna be trying the fragrance out to see if, if it's just people's opinion or uh, it differs on people's skin, which it usually does, but we'll definitely get the full image of the fragrance after our test. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe, like, and comment.